So this is meant to be a series where we talk about third-party apps that can completely replace the stock apps on the home screen. But I want to make just one exception this time around. Our next upgrade is called Google Photos, but instead of it replacing the Photos application, these two things just work really well together. Let's talk about why. I'm just going to spit it out now. The big deal with Google Photos is that you can upload unlimited photos forever. Now granted this isn't a full resolution upload, but the photos still look really nice. Seriously though, with Google Photos, you get free and unlimited photo upload. This kind of service is unheard of today. Overall, the app is pretty simple and it's divided into three tabs. The main tab is where you're able to view any of the photos or videos from your camera roll that have already been uploaded. Any photos or videos not currently stored in the Google Photos app will begin to upload as soon as you open the app. Scrolling to the left reveals the assistant page, which shows when or if any media is currently uploading, or sometimes even shows some cool stylized photos that the Google Photos app made automatically. The third tab, called Collections, has good intentions but ultimately seems somewhat pointless. You can select multiple photos or videos and make them into an album or a cheesy movie or a story or an animation or even a collage. The problem here is that these functions are all incredibly basic, and there are a variety of other apps that do all these things better. Still, this page can be really useful if you need to whip something together quickly. So Google Photos is simple, and for me backing up all of my media for free is an offer I can't refuse. The only thing to really complain about is the fact that live photos aren't yet supported, so any pictures taken on a shiny new iPhone 6s won't animate or do anything of that sort. Like I said, Google Photos is not a replacement for the stock Photos app. But if you want a quick, free photo backup service, then I'd give Google Photos a shot.